Hi, and thanks for stopping by to check out PPC Campaign Generator version 2.94. In this video, I'll show you how to build a paid search campaign from scratch. But first, I do want to mention this software does work with AdWords Editor version 11. It also works with Bing Ads Editor. It works for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10, but it does not work for Mac machines, Mac OS, Mac users. This is not a Mac software. So to begin, let me give you an overview of how this concept works. We first find keywords. We then group them. We then write ads for those groups. We then generate the results. So let's get started. So the first step is to create your campaign. Go ahead, click the account that you want to create it in. And in this example, I'm going to create a roofing campaign. So now we have a roofing campaign created. We need roofing keywords now. We have two tools on this tab that allow you to do that. Let's type in roofing roof roofer, for example. We will find suggestions based on those terms. Likewise, if we wanted to find suggestions A to Z, we can put a wildcard in there and we can find more keywords related to that. So what it's doing is looking for roofing A, roofing B, roofing C, and it's getting those suggestions as we can see the keyword count is increasing. One question I get asked quite frequently is can I change the setting here to allow different languages other than English? The answer is it will look at the language that your query is in or the text is in and it will determine what to return based on the text or the type of text. So there's no setting to set, for example, Russian as your language. There's no need for that if all your keywords are in Russian. Okay, so that's that setting. Another setting is this combination tool. So if we were saying roof, roofing, roofers, and then we were saying company, companies, contractor, price, cost, that kind of thing. So we're just thinking of roofing plus this word, roof plus this word, roof plus this word, and so on. And it takes these smaller lists, it generates a bigger list based on that. And we can build pretty large keyword lists just using this tactic because you can swap them around, you can add new modifiers like home, roofing, new, um, Seattle, you know, whatever whatever makes sense in the context of generating keywords. And then once you actually do that, to find even more relevant keywords, you can swap them over here and get even more suggestions. Likewise, you can go to the Google Keyword Planner. You can get the keywords from there. There's no restriction. You can copy and paste those keywords into this tool. So I'm going to stop it here. Let's go ahead and add Googles. Let's remove the duplicates. So we have 1,097 keywords here. That's good enough for this example, just to give you an idea of how this works. Let's go on to step two. Okay, so step two is grouping keywords. In step two, there are a lot of settings to do with grouping keywords. We can group with three different methods. We can group each keyword into its own ad group. We can set a minimum number of keywords per group. We can also look at only one word, two word, or three word, or four word, or five word frequencies and so on. But to give you an idea of how to use this overall in general is you click this analyze button it looks at how frequently a certain word appeared within this main keyword list and it returns its count. So 59 the the term roofers appeared 59 times within this main keyword list and that's the idea. It takes your keyword list, it breaks it up into smaller words or phrases and then you can determine if those phrases are something you would want to create a group out of. So when you click, for example, I see shed. So we can scroll through this list and say, oh, shed, no, this is for home roofing, right? So we can right click that, we can click negative. And what that's going to do is it removed all the shed keywords from the main keyword list and it added shed as a negative keyword or a negative phrase and that's what's going to appear when we generate this campaign. Another thing you can do is create groups. So if we said shingles, metal, home, 
prices, cost, new, companies, contractors, company, price, tiles, flat, and so on. We can right click that. We can actually merge all those groups into one if they were similar or we can just hit create groups to create new ad groups. So that's what I did. On doing that it removes those keywords from the population, in other words from the main keyword list, and it puts them into their own groups here. You can reanalyze the keyword list to see what's left, kind of get a fresh perspective, but for the sake of this demo I'm just going to group a bunch of keywords into their own group, create groups. If you didn't want to delete them, I mean if you didn't want to add them as negatives and you didn't want to create groups from them, you could delete them, um, but I'm just going to create groups and that's going to create a whole bunch of ad groups for us. There we go. And events, let me go ahead and just for the sake of giving you examples, let me add something else as a negative. Shoes, we'll add that as a negative. So now we have three negatives here. This filter box, I won't get into it, but if you wanted to filter this main keyword list, you can put some keywords in here, click the filter, and you can get a filtered view of what's in, in there. You can also remove keywords. So let's say we did a bunch of suggestions from the research tab. They have a bunch of cities that are not relevant to us. We can actually input cities so US cities, you can save this list or any custom list that you want and then hit remove phrases and that's going to remove whatever if Virginia Beach was found within this keyword list it's going to remove that phrase completely and it also removed the duplicates as well so now we're just left with the keywords without their geo specific modifier in this example. You'd probably want to do it for states and also state abbreviations or countries, but that's the idea is to clean up your keyword list, analyze the density, create the groups you want, and move on to the next step which is writing ads. Okay, so on the groups tab you can do several things like filter your ad groups, your keywords, or your ads, but you can also do some more powerful things like assigning variables to each ad group. You can also assign a destination URL to a certain ad group. So for example, if you had an asbestos specific landing page, you could put a specific landing page here for asbestos. You can put a specific asphalt page here for this group and so on. So you can assign destination URLs or final URLs or landing page URLs, whatever you want to call them, to the ad group variable here for the destination URL. You can also use these custom parameters. These are whatever you want to put in there. So let me give you an idea of how to utilize these to leverage the power of this program to write ads quickly. So let's say we wanted to put in uh, roofing here. And then let's say in our minds we're thinking I want to take the ad group name and generate it in addition to the roofing custom to variable. So if variables are intimidating to you, this will make a lot of sense. Let me just do a very simple example. Add group. We put this parameter here. It's just an open brace, add group, close brace. And that's going to be used to try and generate. Um, we, can, we can do two things. We can go add group here by using this and we can say default would be uh, we'll just say John's roofing. So that it'll say John's and then we can put in a custom to value here. And let's generate the ads and then you can see what it did. So for aluminum roofing it put the ad group name and it put custom to. So custom to was roofing as we know. So it's basically just a placeholder for putting variables into the ads anywhere you want. You don't have to utilize this more advanced feature, but I'm telling you, this is what makes PPC Campaign Generator so powerful because you can say, right here, you could actually just say custom one, custom two, right? You generate it, and it's basically the same thing. So, 
With that said, we just pretty much generated headlines that are relevant to each group. Sometimes the groups won't make sense. So for example, if we saw calculator roofing, we could just simply say, nope, that needs to be swapped around. It needs to be roofing and then calculator, right? And then we go ahead, go into the calculator ad group. And the thing is, in this 2.94 version, you can actually generate ads for each individual group and they don't have to be generated like they were before for every single ad group all at once. So you have plenty of flexibility. You can multi-select different ad groups if you wanted to write really specific ads. So um, get a roofing estimate now. You know, um, don't wait, call today whatever it is that's a really horrible ad but then your URL website.com slash and you could also put in a vanity type of URL you could say put the ad group name here replace the spaces if it's a two word or more phrase with a dash or the default text will be roofing and that's kind of what this parameter is showing you here and then if you wanted to say Let's just say all these destination URLs, they had HTTP website.com slash roofing.html. But then let's say we had a specific page for asphalt roofing. We can just say so that's kind of how that works. We're saying let's generate ads using the URL that I assigned to that group because I have a specific page for that. So let's go ahead, let's remove these, generate the ads, and there you go. We have created all of our ads if this was what we were wanting to do for all groups. So each group now has one ad. You can see it here, you can filter it, you can really leverage the power of these custom parameters to use as variables to inject into your ad here. So let's just call that a day for this for now. Um, like I said, it can get pretty advanced, but I just want to keep it simple. Now we just generate our campaign. All we do here is copy it. You might notice that down here at the bottom, we have our negative campaign negative phrases. So when we go and import this into AdWords editor, for example, paste text, paste from clipboard. It should recognize all the column headers. Hit process. And then we just have a few more steps to do, which is simply assigning a campaign budget. Whatever you want to spend, that's totally up to you. We'll just keep everything here. And then assign ad group default bids. We'll just say a dollar. And technically, if we wanted to upload this, we could. I highly suggest you set your other settings, like your location settings, like your check, just review the ads, make sure they make sense, and make sure your keywords are making sense as well. Um, but other than that, that's how this program works. We can see our campaign level negative keywords here. Our location is United States. If you wanted to do a geotargeted location, you definitely want to update that. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're interested, get 2.94 today of PPC Campaign Generator.